in situ hybridization. Content includes ISH, SISH, FISH, and general procedures. In situ hybridization, ISH, is a technique that allows for precise localization of a specific segment of nucleic acid within a histologic section. The underlying basis of ISH is that nucleic acids, if preserved adequately within a histologic specimen, can be detected through the application of a complementary strand of nucleic acid to which a reporter molecule is attached. Probes that can be used include double-stranded DNA probes, single-stranded antisense RNA probes, riboprobes, single-stranded DNA probes generated by polymerase chain reaction, PCR, synthetic oligodeoxynucleotide probes, and oligoriboprobes. When choosing a probe for in situ hybridization, the researcher must take into account sensitivity and specificity, production facilities, how easily the probe penetrates the tissue, stability of hybrids, the application, and how reproducible the method is. The optimal size of the probe is 50 to 300 bases. The details of these probes, including their advantages and disadvantages, are listed in the table below. There are two main approaches for labeling a probe, radioisotope labeling and non-isotope labeling. Radioisotope labeling is considered as the most sensitive method of labeling by many researchers, but others believe that non-isotopic methods are just as sensitive. The results of radioisotope labeling are easily quantified or semi-quantified using densitometry counting on film or by silver grain counting. For non-isotopic labeling, compounds including biotin, fluorescein, digoxygenin, alkaline phosphatase, or bromodeoxyridine are used and are visualized by histochemistry or immunohistochemistry. Since the first appearance of in situ hybridization, many different methods have been developed, which are divided into chromogenic in situ hybridization and fluorescence in situ hybridization. SISH enables examination of gene amplification, gene deletion, chromosomal translocations, and chromosomal number. This approach uses conventional peroxidase or alkaline phosphatase reactions using bright field microscopy on tissues fixed by formalin and embedded in paraffin. These peroxidase or alkaline phosphatase labeled reporter antibodies interact with a hybridized DNA probe, and are then observed with an enzymatic reaction. Tissue morphology and genetic abnormalities can be viewed at the same time with SISH. SISH uses a similar method as SISH, but a silver precipitate is the end product rather than a brown product. In this method, a probe tagged with dinitrophenol DNP, binds to the target sequence. A primary anti-DNP antibody is then added followed by a secondary antibody conjugated to HRP. Silver acetate, hydroquinone, and hydrogen peroxide are subsequently added to the secondary antibody and HRP catalyzes the polymerization of silver in the presence of hydrogen peroxide. Silver metal is consequently deposited into the nuclei of the cell. Duosish is a variation of SISH that addresses the need for two different probes on the same slide. It is a well-established technique for her 2 slash noi amplification detection even though it is sometimes reported to be less effective than FISH. An advantage of Duosish is that it is possible to distinguish between chromosomal aneuploidy and gene amplification as the reference gene will also be amplified in aneuploidy but not in gene amplification detection. SISH is frequently applied to assess gene amplification such as HER2 slash NOI status in breast cancer samples. HER2 slash NOI amplification is associated with higher mortality, higher recurrence rate, and poor prognosis in breast cancer. Therefore, it is crucial to determine receptor status before starting cancer treatment. SISH is also used for detection of chromosomal rearrangements and fusions, such as the fusion of ALK tyrosine kinase domain with the promoter and 5 region of EML4 and lung cancer. ALK positive tumors are a clinically relevant subgroup as they can be very effectively treated with the ALK inhibitor crizotinib. Apart from cancers, SISH has also been shown to be useful in detecting human papillomavirus infections. Fluorescence in situ hybridization, FISH, is a molecular cytogenetic technique that uses fluorescent probes that bind to only those parts of a nucleic acid sequence with a high degree of sequence complementarity. It was developed by biomedical researchers in the early 1980s to detect and localize the presence or absence of specific DNA sequences on chromosomes. Single molecule RNA fish, also known as Stellaris RNA fish, is a method of detecting and quantifying mRNA and other long RNA molecules in a thin layer of tissue sample. 
single molecule RNA fish assays can be performed in simplex or multiplex, and can be used as a follow up experiment to quantitative PCR, or image simultaneously with a fluorescent antibody assay. The technology has potential applications in cancer diagnosis, neuroscience, gene expression analysis, and companion diagnostics. In an alternative technique to interphase or metaphase preparations, fiber fish, interphase chromosomes are attached to a slide in such a way that they are stretched out in a straight line, rather than being tightly coiled, as in conventional fish, or adopting a chromosome territory conformation, as in interphase fish. This is accomplished by applying mechanical shear along the length of the slide, either to cells that have been fixed to the slide and then lysed, or to a solution of purified DNA. QFish combines fish with PNAs and computer software to quantify fluorescence intensity. This technique is used routinely in telomere length research. Microfluidics assisted fish, MA fish, uses a microfluidic flow to increase DNA hybridization efficiency, decreasing expensive fish probe consumption and reduce the hybridization time. MA fish is applied for detecting the HER2 gene in breast cancer tissues. Hybrid fusion fish, HF fish uses primary additive excitation slash emission combination of fluorophores to generate additional spectra through a labeling process known as dynamic optical transmission DOT. three primary fluorophores are able to generate a total of seven readily detectable emission spectra as a result of combinatorial labeling using dot hybrid fusion fish enables highly multiplexed fish applications that are targeted within clinical oncology panels Species identification. Fish can be used to detect directly the presence of the suspect on small samples of patient's tissue. Fish can also be used to compare the genomes of two biological species, to deduce evolutionary relationships. Comparative genomic hybridization. Comparative genomic hybridization can be described as a method that uses fish in a parallel manner with the comparison of the hybridization strength to recall any major disruptions in the duplication process of the DNA sequences in the genome of the nucleus. Virtual karyotype. Virtual karyotyping is another cost-effective, clinically available alternative to fish panels using thousands to millions of probes on a single array to detect copy number changes, genome-wide, at unprecedented resolution. Spectral karyotype. Spectral karyotyping is an image of colored chromosomes. This type of karyotyping is used specifically when seeking out chromosome arrangements. Probe design. Select appropriate BAC for target of interest, and label your probes using one-step direct methods, thiol-based indirect labeling, or specific 5 and 3 and tagging techniques. Tissue preparation. Before proceeding, slides must be deparaffinized and rehydrated. Incomplete removal of paraffin can cause poor staining of the section. Hybridization. Optimize the probe concentration and buffer conditions to ensure effective annealing to complementary sequences. Blocking. Reduce or eliminate unwanted background, nonspecific, staining on tissue sections and cell preparations using a blocking solution. Probe detection. Use fluorescent or enzyme-conjugated reagents that meet your sensitivity requirements and visualization preferences. Thank you for watching.